Hello everybody, this is Dan from TradeUnity and today I am going to show you how to install your MT4 platform multiple times so that you can trade with multiple accounts at the same time. So last time, at my last tutorial, I showed you how to configure the robot for uh, multiple pairs. And now we're gonna just take it a step forward and add a few more MT4 platforms to the same VPS. That means on the same VPS we'll be able to trade multiple accounts and use different charts, different strategies and the same robot. So what I am going to do now, I need to replicate this terminal. This is the terminal I already have. It is my IC market terminal. You can use whichever broker you have. You can use multiple bro brokers. The procedure will be more or less the same. So what you're going to do, first of all, we're going to minimize the MT4. We're going to leave it open and just minimize it. Now we need to get, in short, we need to um, simply copy the installation folder of the MT4 in multiple locations, change its name, and then run the terminal from that location. So to find the location, the easiest way is to right click on your shortcut, go to properties, so you have the option to open file location. So let's just do that. Okay. We open file location and I can see up here that it says uh, that my folder is in computer, local disk, program files, uh, 32 bits and MetaTrader for IC markets. Okay, let's just go one folder up, just click here and you will see your terminal here. If you don't have the MetaTrader 4 from IC Markets, if you have it from Pepperstone, LMFX, uh, FCXCC or Turnkey, it will show up similarly. Just the name will be different. What you need to do now, sorry, select this folder, copy it, and then paste it again. And you can see we have made the copy. Let's rename this copy into something distinguishable like MetaTrader RC Markets let's let's say we're gonna trade gold uh, on this pair we say single pair gold okay and let's get in it and you'll see here you have you have um, a few files you're gonna look for the terminal uh, the extensions are hidden but this is an exe file so it's executable. So you're looking for the one that is called application, not the icon, the application. Okay. So you're just going to right click on it. You're going to say send to desktop, create shortcut. Okay. Now we'll go back to my desktop. We're actually finished here. Go back to my desktop and you can see here the terminal. Well, it looks kind of ugly and undistinguishable. So let's just take it one step further and rename it and say, I see markets second second terminal what did we say um, single payer gold okay let's just call it like this and if you want to take it even a step further you can change the icon by going to properties change icon and you can either browse for one or just take one from here so I'll put this cute star okay and press apply okay great now I see it here it's more distinguishable now double clicking it, we'll start a new terminal. Okay, here we are starting the terminal scanning. Um, I'm gonna connect to my new account. It's the IC Markets account that I have, another demo on the same server. So you should connect like I do to your other account. Okay, as you can see, it has begun. There are a few charts and as usual, I'm gonna close them. I'm gonna hide all the symbols. Sorry, I'm gonna hide all the symbols.
and I said I want to trade the gold market here. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna show it. Drag it here. Um, I don't have expert advisor, so I need to reload my um, to reload my um, expert advisor. That I will do by opening the data folder and pasting here, uh, navigating to the experts and pasting here our robot. And our robot, as far as I remember, I had it on the uh, desktop. Here it is. So I'm gonna copy it and paste it. Great. Uh, now I'll go back to my second terminal and well actually since this is going to be a single market it can be maximized I'm gonna switch to the right time frame I want to trade the four hours time frame I'm gonna refresh the expert advisors I'm gonna drag and drop my robot I'm going to go to commons, allow DLL imports, allow light trading, and I'm going to load my settings, which are on my desktop. Again, settings, gold market for hours. I'm trading with just one pair, so I'm going to leave the settings as they are. Press auto trading. It's on. It's not yet activated, but it will soon be, because I already pre-activated this account. Okay, there we go. It's activated. Okay, so now I'm going to wait here and trades will be placed later. But now let's say I want one more, one more uh, terminal. I want to trade three accounts. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Um, actually, we can close both of these and let's do it again. We are going to open the location of the original IC markets. We are going to create another copy of it. We call it third, third account. Let's just call it like that. We're gonna go inside it again find the application with the terminal send this to desktop rename it um, we're gonna rename it into the market for installation that sounds fine I don't like this and I'm gonna change it Okay, this looks good as a three. Okay, and start it. Okay, there we are again. I'm gonna connect to yet another account that I have. Okay, the same procedure, close everything. Hide all symbols, oh, that was easy. You can actually hide them all like that. Um, I want to hide these two. Okay, now add symbol. I want to trade just one market again and that would be the GBPUSD. I'm gonna drag it again there's no expert advisor here I'm gonna open data folder I will copy my expert advisor in the in here okay Uh, I'm going to switch it to the right time frame and refresh my expert advisors, drag it, allow live 
DLL imports allow live trading and as inputs I am going to take the gold USD for 4 hours settings. OK um, and press auto trading. It's happy. It's deactivated so I'm just going to switch time frames. OK, now it's activated. I left it on the 4 hour time frames and that's it. Now we have three accounts running on the same server. That's cool. Can we have more? Well, that depends a bit on your server resources. In order to see your server resources, try to look here for task manager. It says here view running processes with task manager. Um, you, say, you see here the three processes that are running. They're all IC markets. And you would like to go to performance. And here you see. Okay. Um, while the CPU usage is low and the memory consumption is not critically high, like you can see there's like 30-40% left, it means you can still add uh, more accounts. Don't overdo it, sometimes you will see the, the processor peaks uh, when something happens on all the, um, all the terminals at the same time, but you are good to go with 3, 4, even maybe 5 on the same BPS. Just make sure to take a look here. In case you didn't remember, what you need to do is just go to start and type here task manager and say view running processes with task manager. It will open this window and in the performance tab you will see how your resources are allocated. So far the CPU is barely used and the memory is quite used but it still has room to, to grow more. Um, remember you get some like an idea for your each each terminal uses around 40 megabytes, 50 megabytes maybe of RAM. So you, you seem to have enough to run even five of them. Okay, that's it. That's the whole thing. Uh, that's the way you can have two, three or four accounts, different accounts running the same robot uh, with different setups. And in that way, you can take advantage of a multitude of combinations of strategies that you can make yourself. You can run multiple charts on each, or you can just run a single chart. You can make an account, let's say, for your children. You can do whatever you want with the five installations you have, and you can pretty much do them all on one VPS. That is all. I hope you learned something today, and if you have any questions, I expect them on the robot chat support group. See you next time. Bye-bye.